Hi, everyone. Mr. Hawkins with Hawkins Tech. And iPad OS 26 is one of the best updates for the iPad. And the reason being is it fixed the iPad's multitasking system. It fixed it in a way to make the iPad sort of mimic the Mac. I won't even say be like the Mac. It exactly mimics the Mac in a way. We get the new windowing system, which is similar to Stage Manager, but with even more features. The traffic light buttons, the red, yellow, and green buttons that's found in Mac OS. And I am excited for that to come to the iPad. Typically, when you go into settings, multitasking and gestures, for iPads that do have Stage Manager, you're going to see an option here that says Stage Manager. You're even going to see an option for it in the Control Center if you've already added it. You will probably have it, but if you haven't added it, you're going to see it there. But Stage Manager is iPad specific. At first, when it came out back in summer of 2022 with the iPad OS 16 beta, it was only available for iPads with M1 chips. So that means the iPad Pro and iPad Air M1, which was very disappointing for iPads that were capable to have Stage Manager. Apple could have added it, and which they later did in iPad OS 16.1. They added it to iPads such as the 2018 iPad Pro with the A12X chip, as well as the 2020 iPad Pro with the A12Z chip. Now, the iPad Pro 2018, while it had the A12X chip, it had two sizes for RAM or two options for RAM. One was a four gigabyte model, which is what my iPad has. And the other is a six gigabyte model. This is why I say the iPad Air from 2020 was also capable of having Stage Manager, despite it not being an iPad Pro, it does have a newer chip than the iPad Pro. The iPad Pro from 2018 had four gigabytes of RAM on its lower storage models. The higher storage got six gigs of RAM, but both models, the four and six gigs of RAM versions, both ended up getting Stage Manager. They did not get the full external monitor support, but they did get the windowed stage manager, which allowed you to open apps in Windows exactly mimicking the Mac. Of course, not without or without the traffic light buttons at the time, but that's a new feature that Apple added in iPadOS 26, the red, yellow, and green buttons. And those are the traffic light buttons. And it's pretty interesting how Apple added these to the iPad when they were on the Mac. It's a step to turning the iPad into a Mac, or at least close to it. So while the iPad Air from 2020 had also four gigabytes of RAM, I think it was capable of getting Stage Manager, and which it did not. The 2018 iPad Pro with 4 gigs got Stage Manager along with the 6 gigabytes of RAM as well. Well, now, now every iPad is going to get Stage Manager or at least some version of it. Apple is not calling it Stage Manager. Not for all the iPads that are going to get the feature. In iPad OS 26 in the beta 
Apple is calling this windowing or it's it's multiple names, but a lot of people call this the windowing system or they just refer to it as windowing. I don't know if it has a specific name, but I am just going to call it the new windowing system or windowing for short, because this is supposedly a new feature that mimics stage manager. And I'm going to go to the iPad OS 26 website to see if I can find information about this update. Let's go to apple.com here. Give me one second. Okay, so this is iPadOS 26. Just let me um, go ahead and bookmark this. Okay, it's there. So this is the new update, iPadOS 26. Now, I'm sure you guys already know what's in it with the liquid glass, so I'm not going to go over that. I've covered that in many videos, and if I forgot to mention at the start of the video, I am not running the beta. I'm still not on the beta, and... I use this iPad as my main device to edit videos, so I'm not going to put the beta on there. I'm not going to put it on my iPhone 12 either because obviously I don't have a new iPhone to run stable yet, so I'm going to keep the beta off of there. But I'll be sure when I do upgrade my phone and keep that iPhone 12, then I will install the beta on there and you guys will get to see it on the channel. Now, back to iPad OS 26. You can see here that the windowing, the new windowing system is here. You can see part of the wallpaper is behind the two apps. That exactly mimics the MacBook. We're going to skip over the liquid glass feature as we already know about that. If you don't, there are lots of videos mentioning that. And you also have this feature. I'm not exactly sure what this feature is here. I have to do more research on that. It doesn't say much about the new windowing system. There it is. Okay, so this is the new windowing system in iPad OS 26. This is what I'm looking most forward to. As the iPad has always been so limited to just split view and slide over, at least for my iPad Air, until they finally fix that with the iPad Pro. But mostly all the iPad Pros ended up getting that. And the iPad Air models, specific iPad Air models with the M chips, ended up getting that. Whilst other iPads like the 2020 iPad Air, which is the device I use for my videos that I reviewed on the channel, did not get that feature, unfortunately. However, now in iPad OS 26, you can clearly see here that it is getting that feature. And I know for sure it's coming to most iPads. As I even seen videos of the new windowing system with the traffic light buttons on an iPad mini. I seen that on an iPad mini 
a device that's not even capable to get stage manager, or maybe it is, but I know Apple probably would not give that device stage manager as of its smaller screen. I've seen that on an iPad mini as well as an iPad A17 or an iPad A16, I mean, the 11th generation entry-level base model iPad. And I am quite sure that the iPad 10th generation from 2022 with the A14 chip is also going to get the feature as well. And when I do try out the feature, I will make a video and let you guys know how the feature works. As I am really excited to try out this new windowing system, I've been quite jealous that Stage Manager was on the 4 gig iPad Pro from 2018, whilst my 2020 iPad Air, which I'm recording this video on, also has 4 gigs of RAM, but cannot get the feature, even has a newer processor. I'm going to go into Geekbench 6. I haven't ran any new Geekbench scores, but I, I ran one yesterday in my iOS follow-up video, and I share, shared it off in that video, but I'm just going to go over here again. I have 2,086 for single core, 4,995 for multi-core, and these are all of the ones I've ran. And taking a look at my iPad, it is an iPad Air 4th generation, Apple A14 Bionic chip, and the memory I currently have is 3.78 gigabytes. That's less than 4 gigs of RAM, as I do use, or I guess my iPad is using some of the RAM. And that's also the 2018 iPad Pro, 4 gigs of RAM. And it got the feature. So I will be trying out the new Stage Manager update or the windowing system in iPad OS 26. Comment down below if you're running the beta and you have the new windowing system. And what iPad are you using it on? Because it supports everything from the iPad 8th generation to the latest iPad Pro and iPad Air. The only iPad that is not supported is the iPad 7th generation. And that's understandable as that iPad has the A10 chip. I'm surprised that device got iOS 18. Although it came out in 2019, the A10 chip is an older piece of hardware that is in that iPad. I do think it should have gotten the A11 or A12 chip, but it got the A10 Fusion chip instead. And that was my first iPad before I got this one, the iPad Air 4th generation that I'm recording off of, which you've guys seen in my videos as I've reviewed this several times. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to mention the new updates coming to iPad OS 26 with the new with the new windowing system that I'm looking forward to. Finally being able to try that out on this iPad as I've been quite jealous of the new stage manager. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe. And also, make sure you subscribe to my second YouTube channel. I've recently started a vlogging channel. It's called Hawkins Tech Vlogs. I currently have six Those subscribers on here. So make sure you guys subscribe to my second channel, Hawkins Tech Vlogs. I have a milestone of reaching 50 subscribers by August 4th, which is going to be one month since I started that channel. As I started that channel on July 4th, which was the 4th of July, I started that channel on that day, and I currently have six subscribers. I hope I can reach 50 before the 4th of August, but it'll be a great milestone if I do, so that I can start live streaming on that channel. So make sure you guys subscribe to me on Hawkins Tech Vlogs, as well as my main channel, Hawkins Tech. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. 
I'm Mr. Hawkins with Hawkins Tech, and I'll see you guys later.